What's up? So now we're going to talk about getting input from the user. Basically, we use an input method to do this. Um, but I want to make a little menu here for the user to interact with. So we'll say, welcome to my program. And a little creature there. We'll print. And then we'll say, so now is where we get the input. We'll say, name equals input. What is your name? So this is going to ask the user, what is your name? And whatever they type in is going to be stored in this name variable. And just to show you, we'll say, you said your name is. All right, let's run it. Welcome to my program. What is your name? Ian. You said your name is Ian. All right, let's do another input. Say we want to input an integer. The problem is whenever we do an input, it automatically saves it as a string. So we're going to need to typecast it. All right, it's going to, let's just do age. We'll say input, how old are you? And we need to typecast this entire thing as an integer. So we'll say int and separate, I mean put this whole thing in parentheses. And then we'll say, you said you are Alright, and in order to print this out, you see how it's an int now? You need to typecast it back to a string. I typecasted it up here to an int because usually if you deal with numbers from input, you're going to be doing some mathematical operations on them, and you can't do math on strings. Let's run it. My name is Ian. How old are you? One. You, can make, you said your name is Ian. You said you are 21 years old. Um, so now let's get a little more complex. Uh, let's grab a list from user input. Oftentimes you'll want users to enter in numbers separated by spaces or commas. So let's say my list. Something you guys should also know is this um, way to name variables. If your variables have more than one word in them, the first word is lowercase, the second word is uppercase, and any words that come out later, it's called camel case. And it's uh, used commonly throughout programming languages. All right, so we'll say my list equals input, enter three numbers separated by spaces. And then in order to turn this into a list, we have to say dot split. And then we'll just print out the list. Save it. Run it. Name's Ian. 21. 3, 4, 5. There we go. You can see the list here separated into three items. And that does it for the input. Uh, next, we're going to talk about tabs, um, new line characters, and escape sequences. All right, let's go.